Hey, what is up? In today's dance comp review tutorial, I'm prepping this body and this face for an international Latin or an American rhythm dance sport competition. So to start, I would suggest doing your makeup before you style your hair, as both hairspray or gel for that matter will create a layer along the line of growth of your hair, which will eventually cause a non-even makeup on the edges, and I mean, who wants that, right? So another point worth mentioning, if uh, you have dry skin like me, I would suggest applying a moisturizer to your face 5-10 to 10 minutes before you apply your makeup, and if you don't have that time, make sure to dry your moisturizer with a tissue. My process starts with uh, tanning my chest and neck and for that I would need to know the approximate parameters of the opening portion of my shirt. And uh, the product of my choice is the Instant Bronzing Makeup Dream Glow by Maybelline. I'm squishing a bit of product on my freshly clean and dried sponge and uh, spreading it evenly. Then with a tapping motion I'm applying the product to my neck and uh, chest areas. My brush strokes are going from center outwards and if there are any visible tan lines, which there will be, I cross brush to even them out. gentlemen who have developed a second chin, you can quickly cover up your double chin situation by applying instant tan right under your chin. Be sure to maintain the chin line which will eventually be blended with powder and bronzer. Oh and uh, don't forget to tan the back of your neck too, I mean otherwise it's going to be just like one white patch in the back of your neck. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Up next, foundation. And in my case, I'll be using Everlasting by Oriflame. I'm now grabbing a clean sponge and squirting out some product, spreading it evenly and applying in the same manner as the instant tanner. Quick little tappa tappa with my finger and then brushing and spreading it evenly on my face. <laughs> Once applied, give it a minute of drying time and you'll need to grab a tissue or in my case a toilet paper and collect the excess foundation from your face. Note that I am not brushing anything off, I'm just applying periodic pressure with my tissue and absorbing the leftovers. So here I have two brushes, both by Giordani Gold, one for the powder and one for the bronzer. I mean, you don't have to be that meticulous about it and only have one for both, but uh, my partner said to have two, so I suggest we all do what she says. Powder I will be using today is Giordani Gold Supreme Pressed Powder by Oriflame. These brushes come with a slider which enables you to adjust the size of the bristles, so to get more powder on the brush I will push the slider out. Uh, with a circular motion I gather the content and then I give my brush a good tap to even out and shake off the excess product. Once I gather the necessary amount, I push the slider in to increase the brush size. So I apply the powder from the edge of my face and my strokes are going outwards while slowly moving towards the center. I periodically go back and gather more powder, repeating the process until my full face is evenly covered. Also worth mentioning, I'm starting to blend that chin line I've created earlier with the instant tan. So there. Next, bronzer. I'm now getting the second brush, which is dedicated specifically to that, and the bronzer I'm going to be using is by Yves Rocher. Oh and guys, don't freak out if you can't find some of the products I use in the video. I'd suggest asking your partner on what they use and go with the same. I mean, technique of application is what matters the most here. So circular motion to gather product, a little tappa tappa to lose the excess, and as a safe zone, I will start from the ears. Then I go below the cheekbones. Go into my temple area and along my hairline. 
and this is where things could get really messy if you already did your hair and used hairspray or gel. As I mentioned earlier, hairspray will create the layer which will prevent your bronzer to lay properly. So you gotta make sure that you start with makeup then go into the hair. This is super delicate. This is called contouring or basically giving shape to your face. The bronzer will create a contrast to the powder showing off some of your handsome chin lines. But you gotta make sure that you don't put too much. I use the same application technique as with the powder, but I make sure that I only cover certain areas. So now I'm accentuating my nose by darkening the edges. And if your brush is too big for that, I'd suggest just leaving that step out. But if you decided to go for it, be sure to go very light on the pressure. So with all that makeup on, your facial hair and your lips are probably going to blend with the rest of your face. I'm going to use my partner's old mascara brush and give my eyebrows a few strokes. All mascara brushes, even though they were washed, they probably would still have a little bit of mascara left on them. So they would give your brows a bit of color. And that is exactly what I'm going for. I also use my partner's blush, which is not a lipstick, to give a bit of color to my lips. And voila, you're done. That is it for today's tutorial. Give us thumbs up if you like this video and learned something new. Click that subscribe button to get notified on the new video releases. Drop us a line in the comments below on the tutorial you want to see next. And of course, visit our website at www.dancecompreview.com for more ballroom dance and dance sport goodness. Thank you for watching this dance comp review tutorial. I'm Igor Shalvarov. See you next time. Oh man, I have a patch now.